What's up everyone? My name is Josh Reese. I'm a fourth year optometry student at the Arizona College of Optometry. And today I just wanted to talk about what it's like as a fourth year optometry student. Um, whether or not you're in optometry school or you're thinking about going into optometry school, I just think there needs to be more content out there about what life is like, just what you can look forward to and kind of prepare for. So I really haven't had time to make as much videos as I thought I would. I remember uh, some of my favorite optometry YouTubers, the second they hit fourth year, they really stopped making content like they used to. And I thought, why is that? And then now all of a sudden I'm a fourth year student and you have no time. Really, um, you still have assignments like in third year, but you're working a nine to five. And a lot of times, you know, I'm leaving here at about 530 and I could have stayed a little bit more. I'm just going to get there earlier on Monday morning to finish the stuff I needed to do. Um, but you really are running out of time. You still have some assignments due and you get home and you're just really tired. And so fourth year really takes it out of you. For those of you who don't know, um, fourth year in optometry school in all of the four year optometry school programs, which is basically all of them, uh, your fourth year is called rotations or externships where you go and you work at a clinic as an optometrist and you have a supervising doctor in charge of making sure that your exams are going well and you check in with them and um, you know everything's done under their license and you're still a student but you're seeing patients all day and so my first site is uh, a disease site disease site at the Arizona College of Optometry, it is um, you rank the sites that you want to go to in the summer of your third year. Uh, you rank them all like I want this one, I want this one, and then there's a random lottery and they pick it out and you get what you rank. But at the Arizona College of Optometry, how it works is you need to rank one site that is primarily a disease site, one that has, you know, you're working with populations or at centers that are seeing a lot of disease one that is a primary care site so one that um, sees general populations um, and a lot of times those primary care sites can have a lot of different things about them um, i know some of them are in communities uh, that have disease already and so it's basically another disease site um, some of them are like vision therapy offices so you get you know a lot you don't like do the vision therapy but you get to like do a lot of exams on patients who have needed vision therapy and do those okay sorry losing my train of thought but you need to rank three different ones uh disease primary care and then a specialty your specialty can be disease or your specialty can be a primary care but there's also other specialty sites um that are you know different specialties in optometry that you can go into and then your fourth one is at the clinic at the Arizona College of Optometry and in the clinic they have uh, all the different specialties in it too so you'll get some exposure in contact lenses low vision vision therapy you know even some electrodiagnostic testings and I don't know glaucoma all of those things you'll get experience in uh, in your internal rotation at your fourth year so this is my disease site and uh, honestly, I, this is the end of my second week. I'm recording this Friday at the end of my second week, working nine to five at a disease site. And honestly, I think my mind has just opened up so much. Like in optometry school, you learn all the diseases. You learn, you know, this could happen, that could happen. And really, you just think, okay, that's nice. Have it in the back of your mind, you know, never gonna see it. But you see so much, you know, maybe I'm just lucky enough to have seen so much, but talking with a lot of my classmates, they've seen so much too. You know, you really never know what you're going to get. Um, I've seen so like, so many patients, you know, central serous retinopathy, uh, a lot of diabetic retinopathy, some hypertensive retinopathy, um, you know, patients with uh, Fuchs corneal um, disease or <laughs> uh, dystrophy, a patient with um, some liver failure affecting her eyes. You just get so much experience at, at, at the site. And 
I think the one thing that I wasn't prepared for the most was just how exhausted you are. Um, at school, you really only see, you know, maybe two patients a shift and the exams take like two hours. But here we do a thing called stacking patients where you, uh, you know, get the exam started for one patient and then as soon as they dilate, you grab the next patient. And then when that patient's ready, you get the patient that you dilated, then you keep going throughout the day. And um, I've seen 11 patients a day, which isn't, you know, horrible, but um, it's definitely a lot when you're the person seeing them. The, you know, some sites you see like 50 patients a day, but you're not doing the whole exam on them. You have techs helping you. And um, on these patients, you're really, you know, maybe the techs take the, the photos or the scans for you, but you're doing the entire exam yourself. And so seeing 11 patients a day like that, you just get so tired. And I have an hour commute there, hour commute back, and you just get home and you're exhausted. And I don't know, I think it's easy to kind of get down on yourself. Um, I don't know, it's been a really hard two weeks. I know especially the first week felt like you know, each day felt like 10 days. You know, it felt like I lived a month and a half just in that first week. Like time was going so fast, you know, y your brain is going a million miles an hour every day, but that's kind of how it'll be after school. And so <laughs> sometimes I think, dang, how can these doctors out in the real world, how can these optometrists forget what it was like to be a student, forget how stressed we are? And I just think, no wonder they forget because they're still in that stressful environment. It's still crazy. You know, you still, you still never lets up. And I think I'm just kind of seeing that for the first time and realizing, you know, it's not that the doctors forgot how hard it was to be a student. It's that it, it never stops being hard. And, you know, that might be disheartening to hear if you're a student thinking about going into optometry but I think that's the reality of any healthcare career is it kind of won't let up. But I think the reason it doesn't let up is because it's always worth it because you're doing something hard. You know, these people come in and trust you with their eyes and things are going bad with their eyes sometimes, especially, you know, at a site that's labeled a disease site, you're gonna see uh, some people who you just wish, I don't know, you're just so grateful that you could do something to help them because their lives truly are better because they came and saw you. I just wanted to come out and kind of show you all what it's like, you know, because it's at um, a clinic, uh, it's kind of like a government run clinic. I'm not allowed to like do a clinic tour or like a day in my life or even you know film in the in the clinic at all but I did want to make sure that I come out and talk um, about my experience so that you all can know what to look forward to it's really really cool your first time seeing some of these things you know it's stressful because <laughs> I have to go up to my preceptors sometimes my the attending doctors and say like, I have no idea, or, um, you know, I didn't see anything that I should have seen. And, you know, just make sure my number one advice is, I've started asking for feedback every day, because that's what I'm there for. I'm still a student, I'm still paying tuition. You know, I'm not necessarily, you know, I'm working for free, you know, for this clinic. So I guess I'm making them money but I'm more of a liability to the clinic than I am, you know, a free labor. And so I, I'm still here to learn, you know? And um, I just, my biggest advice is to ask for feedback. Every day I go to the doctors and I say, what's one thing I can improve upon today? And sometimes I don't like the answers they give, but um, it's good, I'm improving and I think you know, these last two weeks, even though they felt like two months, I have become 10 times a better clinician and 10 times a better optometrist. Um, and there's just so much growth in such little time. Uh, and it's crazy. Um, 
So keep your head up if you're, you know, pre-optometry student, first year student, second year student, it can suck. <laughs> it can really suck uh, when you're studying so hard and maybe you're on the verge of failing or you are failing some classes and you need to push through. Uh, just know it's worth it. Um, fourth year, it's still hard. It's a different kind of hard. Don't worry, I didn't forget how hard it was to be a pre-optometry student or to be an optometry, uh, be a first year or second year. Uh, but it's, it just moves into a different kind of hard. Um, you're not studying every second of every day, but you do feel exhausted after um, seeing patients all day. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful to some of you. And um, I hope I can at least make some videos to help some of you along the way. We'll see you later. Bye.